Hey there, Dominic here with a word about the channels tab in Modo 601. As you see in the item list I have only one mesh container called mesh which contains this geometry. And when you go to your channels tab by default this is what you see. Now when you go to your setup tab then you see also underneath mesh add position, add rotation and add scale. So by default when you create a mesh item, you don't have a position, a rotation and a scale channels for your item. So with add position I can add one and with add rotation add a rotation and add scale add the scale channels. But in your model quad tab you don't see this. So you could go, you can go over your channels tab name over here, right click, go to viewport settings and uncheck show merged. Now you see you have your add position, add rotation and add scale just like in the setup tab. And you can also check show all to get more channels to show but most of the time you don't need these. So channels, right click, viewport settings, uncheck show merged and now you have your add position, add rotation, add scale. So now when I click add position a position channels are being added. I could also select my item and for instance scale it. When I scale it now you see a scale is automatically added but then of course you have performed a scale on your item. You could go to your properties and reset all or reset scale. Now your channels have been reset. Or you could select one and shift select it and of course enter a value of 1 like that and then all channels get a scale of 1 and I can add a rotation just like that. When you first add a position and a rotation and a scale those names are in bold phase that means that these are your primary rotation channels and if you have primary rotation channels then that means you can also add secondary and even more than that. So for instance when I set add position so now I have added an extra position channel and I can move this by right clicking on it and move down for instance and again uh, move down or r when it's in between somewhere I can say well move to last and last actually positions it on top and why is that? Well because everything in the channel list is evaluated from the top down. So from top, uh, from from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top everything is evaluated. So when I set it to move to first then my position is first in the stack if you will from the bottom up. And now why would you want to have multiple positions or rotations? Well um, this is to simplify your rigging. For instance, let's say if I have an item and I want it to be moved over here and rotate around its own axis by in an animation and also have it rotated around a certain point in an animation. I could do that with a, a bunch of locators, parent them all together and parent that mesh item to the bottom locator and have one locator rotate around its own axis and move another locator and so on and so on to have a certain type of animation. But in Modo you can simply add different rotations and positions and scale channels. So for instance I could add um, a pre-transform rotation so it will add a rotation before the position and animate for instance position uh, the rotation Y so when I press the C key of the viewport now I get my rotation Y and when I drag this is exactly what happens uh, you, what happens is exactly what you would expect it rot rotates around its own center now then I could say well I want also to move it in an animation in position X now I'm moving in position X and now when I select this rotation Y, when I rot rotate this, so you see, if I were to animate this, now it's 
rotating not around its own center and this is because it has been moved in X over here. So if I animate this rotation channel, it's going to rotate around its own axis, then uh, make keyframes for the position X and it will move in the animation in, in X and then with this secondary second rotation channel which because it's uh, when, when you animate this one then it will move around the center so if I were to animate this now then my mesh item over here would rotate around the center and at the same time rotate around its own axis so it would make a movement like you see my mouse cursor do like that so you don't have to use a, a, a different locators parent together to do that you can simply add different channels in modo and animate them and then you don't need a, a, a difficult setup over here and also of course with each locator if you add several locators each of them have their own channels and this can become quite uh, hefty to say like that and with this setup you only have these channels that are being evaluated by modo so very useful I'm going to press the C key to drop my channel hold tool I can left click on it to make selections or I can make con by control clicking several selections and then when I press the C key now you see all these channels are visible in my channel hall or I can left click and shift select like that and I can move this around like that and now I can uh, do all kinds of operations and animate them and then I can have this item perform a series of different movements without having to parent it in a difficult parent channel relationship with several locators I can do that by simply adding these positions and as I've said your bold faced names are the primary channels so if I press the E key you see that my primary rotation channel is being selected so if I want to animate these channels for instance I have to select them over here press the C key and now I can edit these ones like that and when you don't see add position add rotation add scale right click on channels and set viewport settings and uncheck show merged like that so hope you find it useful this was Dominic bye for now